Today's lesson is on prime and composite numbers. Your learning scales on the board, we're only going to be focusing on the prime and composite sections of this learning scale. So your learning goals are, I can determine whether a given whole number in the range of 1 to 100 is prime or composite, and I can define the terms prime and composite. So prime numbers are a whole number that's greater than 1, it can be divided evenly by one or itself. Or prime numbers only have two factors. All right? Prime numbers only have two factors. For example, 7 is a prime number because it only has two factors, 1 and 7. 2 is also a prime number. It only has two factors. 1 and 2. The number 2 is the only prime number that is even. All other prime numbers are odd. So 15 is a prime number because it has mul is not a prime number. It has more than two factors. Okay? But 3 is a prime number. It only has two factors. So let's talk about whether these numbers are prime or not. Well, 8, the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8, so it is not prime. 14, the factors are 1, 2, 7, and 14, so it is not prime. 23, the factors of 23 are 1 and 23, so it is prime. The factors of 5 are 1 and 5, so it is prime. Try to determine whether or not 17, 4, and 39 are prime. Now you can check your answers. Now let's talk about composite numbers. Composite numbers are any numbers with more than two factors. All even numbers are composite numbers except for the number 2. 6 is a composite number because it has more than two factors. Because the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. 22 is a composite number because it has more than two factors. 17 is not a composite number. There are only two factors in 17, right? 17, the factors are 1 and 17. Therefore, 17 is a prime number. So let's talk about whether these numbers are prime or composite. So 28, well, the factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, and 28. So 28 is composite because there's more than two factors. 100, you've got 1, 2, 4, 5, um, 20, oh, wait, 10, sorry, I skipped that one, 10, 25, um, 50, and 100. So, so many factors, it's composite. 13. The factors of 13 are 1 and 13. So there's only two factors, so it's prime. Try to figure out for yourself whether 62, 43, and 20 are prime or composite. And you can check your answers. Remember, this was our learning goal for today. Thank you so much for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.